these Democrats are total dirtbags, aren't they? Huh? Including those that work or worked for the FBI. One of the agents, uh, Peter Strzok, so that's S-T-R-Z-O-K, -okay. well, he uh, was exchanging email messages with his mistress, Lisa Page. She's, she was, or she still is, an FBI agent. And they were making rather derogatory comments about President Donald Trump. Now, Peter Strzok has a strange background. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, the agent that wrote talking points that the FBI director at that time, James Comey, used to exonerate Hillary. He's also the agent that interviewed Samantha Powers and Susan Rice when they both lied to him about the Hillary server. Now what's interesting is nothing happened to either one of them when they lied to the FBI agents against Title 18, Section 1001 of the Penal Code. But when another individual, General Michael Flynn, lied to the FBI agent, the same agent, what happened to him? Well, <laughs> and he's negotiating with Robert Mueller to avoid a rather lengthy prison sentence. Can you see the inequity in all of this? And what's interesting is this agent, Peter Strux, also the one that signed the documents to begin a special counsel headed by Robert Mueller. Personally, I don't think Robert Mueller is any better than Peter Strux or anybody else. He too is a left-wing Democrat. He's registered as a Republican, the same way as Senator Johnny McCain is registered as a Republican. I don't believe that he is a true Republican. I think he's a worthless Democrat at heart. <laughs> Just my opinion. So the question that has to be asked is what the hell is Christopher Ray doing? He was appointed by the President of the United States to head up the FBI after James Comey was fired <laughs> by the President of the United States. I don't think that Christopher Ray has a whole lot of time to clean up that hornet's nest, if he can. You know, it's not just the FBI, it's the CIA, you know, the ones that bring in tons of heroin. Folks, this country is a complete mess. You've got the FBI doing all kinds of criminal illegal acts and they get away with it. It's no different than what I said in that other video that I posted about this event. You lie to the FBI, you go to prison, they lie to you and nothing happens. There's something seriously wrong with that picture. Hillary Clinton needs to be arrested immediately. There's no question of her guilt. None. Zero. Period. It all refers back to a whole lot of events, but one specific, which is that illegal server that she had. Hillary's being sued by the families, by two of the families that lost their loved ones at Benghazi because of the information flow that she allowed to happen. You know who else has to be rounded up? Huma Abedin. She too needs to be rounded up. But that's a different story. This Peter strikes anything that he's done needs to be unwound, including the special counsel, which is nothing but an absolute atrocity, a horrific waste of money, hundreds of millions of dollars being poured down a sewer for nothing. Robert Mueller headed up the FBI during 9-11. Anyone with even a 
half a brain knows that it had nothing to do with Saudi nationalists. It had everything to do with the Bush administration to fuel the industrial military complex. But that too is a different story. This whole thing with Peter Strux, the FBI, Christopher Ray, Lisa Park, it all needs to be unraveled. And Hillary needs to be, like Trump said, behind bars. That's sort of what I think. Go do your own searches. It's everywhere. Thanks for listening.